prove a joker here. Okay, so I was trying to find an airtight for this huge silver eagle that I bought. You guys remember, this is a kilo silver eagle, very rare, hard to come across. So I was trying to find an airtight to put it in because it's going into my collection. Okay, so I came across a discrepancy. Yes. <laughs> so um, there's something very, I would say, interesting, if not troubling, about this silver round. You guys remember what I paid for it. You remember where I bought it from. So I decided to take it down to my local coin store and let Phil take a look at it for me. And I'll let you guys see what he found. But first, let me just say this. This, what I'm about to share with you, has nothing at all to do with where I bought it. I plan to go back and, and visit them as often as I can. I recommend them highly. So this has nothing to do with where I bought it, but everything to do with the Washington Mint. So I'll let you guys see what Phil discovered about this unique round here. And I'll share that with you. And also we're gonna talk a little bit about the whole idea of premiums, waiting till things are a little more favorable price-wise, and we'll, we'll get Phil's take on that. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. All right, folks, so I had a little bit of a um, issue here, not really an issue, but when I weighed this right here on my scale, you guys remember when I bought this and I showed this to you guys um, a few videos back. And so I weighed it on my scale, and my scale max out at a thousand grams, and this is a thousand grams, it's a kilo. And it's just a tad bit under weight. Now, if it was over, I wouldn't worry about it a little bit, tad bit over, um, I wouldn't worry about it too much, but it's a tad bit under. And that's always, if you guys know, if you follow my videos and listen to Phil, that's always a red flag. If you buy silver and it's a little under, that's a red flag, Not nothing to be overly concerned about immediately but it's definitely a red flag and so this one i brought in for phil to test it for me i'm sure it's fine but we're going to test it but this came from the washington mint it's a kilo and uh phil's going to put it on the sigma here well actually he's going to use the wand why don't we throw it on uh, the scale gonna... first to show him okay uh, yeah i mean this should weigh a thousand grams it's a kilo bar All right uh, and a kilo typically and these are accurate in fact i just had this uh the county County weights and measures just came in uh, last week, and so they have to certify all of our scales. So right. it's certified perfect. So we're going to see. Uh, we're on troy ounces right now. It's 32.04, which is just slightly off. We can switch this to grams, 997.0. It yeah. should be 1,000. And so it's just a little bit under, so that gives me just a little bit of pause. So I brought it into my expert here, Phil. And so the tolerance of this scale, if you look at, at 1,500 grams, it should only be a 0.5 gram discrepancy. So this is not a discrepancy based on the accuracy of the scale. It has definitely a discrepancy based on the weight of right. the silver itself. Exactly. It's not within the, the range or tolerance of the scale being accurate. It's, it's the, the silver bar or the silver round itself is, is light. So we'll go test it to make sure. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, yeah. like we say, typically, if they're not going to be exact weights, typically they're going to be a little over. I mean, that's just typical of a company. So we're going um, to run this on 999 silver, just 999 silver. Okay. Um, so we're ready to place, and we're going to put this at a couple different places to make sure that we're... And as before, the... The indicator should be in, in between the parentheses mm -hmm. and, and it's dead right center. there, it's right right in the middle. And again, seeing it's from the Washington Mint, uh, we're gonna check it a few different places here, but mm -hmm. uh, typically uh, I've never had an issue from the Washington Mint, right. legitimate pieces from the Washington oh, yeah, that, Mint. I mean, so, that's that's right yeah. in the middle, so that's pure. Yeah. Well, not three so, nines. I mean, the idea that it's pure is the first thing you have to be concerned about. Second mm -hmm. of all, the weight, it, is there going to be a problem selling it for a kilo round? Probably not. Right. Probably not. Yeah. Um, the weight being off like yeah. that is not sufficient enough to really yeah. affect it. Um, it's three grams, which is basically a tenth of an ounce. Yeah. Uh, so a tenth of an ounce off, which is probably makes it a little more unique. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, look, there's a silver lining in every cloud, I believe, if you look for it. So, <laughs> no pun intended. So, I'm, that's how I'm going to see it. It's, it's definitely, you know, pure silver. It's definitely three nines fine. 
all right so as you guys can see this silver round is good <laughs> it is absolutely three nines fine silver it's absolutely legit it is from the washington mint which is great but it's just a little bit underweight and that's very rare you don't see that very often a lot of companies when they err on the side of weight it's usually over i've never come across a legitimate company that puts out a product that's under what it's supposed to be and so i'm going to consider this a positive as far as i'm concerned because as you guys know i'm not going to sell this this is not part of my stack this is part of my collection so this just adds to the uniqueness of this round that's how i'm going to look at it there's no obvious reasons for it to be underweight there's no divots there's no pop marks there's no wear on this round at all so this came out of the mint underweight and so it got past the quality control system that they have there and it made it out to uh, the public and I got it. So that's how I'm gonna look at it as a very unique, one of a kind, underweight Kilo Eagle. All right, so Phil had a visitor to a store. He came in to buy some constitutional silver. His name was Matt. And he agreed to answer a few of my questions on why he was there buying constitutional silver. And so, um, you know, this is what he had to say. I think I got like 20 bucks worth of that. Okay. Can, I, can I get through the kangaroos? Yeah, sure. You want to sort through it or you want me to give you uh, some rolls already counted out? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So what's your name, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Matt. Matt? All right, Matt. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Silver Joker. I have a YouTube channel. Down there making a video, so uh, you'll be in it. <laughs> your face won't be in it. Matt, but uh, I appreciate you letting me film your transaction here. Uh, no problem. So what draws you to constitutional silver? Uh, the only thing I've got of it so far is just like what I've found over the years. So okay. not a whole lot, so. All right. But you, but you like it. I mean, why do you, why do you, if you don't mind me asking, why do you collect 90% silver or stack it? I don't really have a lot of it. So I only got like a couple dollars worth. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so you're trying to build up your constitutional silver supply. Yeah. Your stack. That's good. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. That's right. It's 90% silver and... Uh, very important, good to diversify your stack a little bit. And it's 90% silver, which is always a good thing. Everybody knows what it is. Everybody knows <laughs> what it is, exactly. All right, thanks a lot, Matt. Appreciate you talking to me, buddy. Oh, no problem. And there it is, another satisfied customer. Yeah. Even with his constitutional silver, that's good. Yeah, if you What's do the doing? math, I mean, on 200 ounces, I mean, you're in the thousands and thousands of dollars right. of, of equity that you have in a, you know, a stash of silver here that perhaps you wouldn't have had had you not gone out and bought that silver, what, where that money would have been or where it would have ended up, it's anybody's guess. But chances are, if you focus on that and buy it routinely, you'll you'll surprise yourself with what you can what you can save, basically. And it is a savings, really. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I agree with that completely. So you would say right now, it's time to accumulate. I mean, I think a lot of people get caught up in the premium versus spot price should i wait to buy or should i bite the bullet and and buy what i can now even if silver goes down a little bit but I'll, the chances are it could also go up a little bit so mm -hmm. what advice would you give somebody that's on the fence about that whether they should wait or pay the premium well i you know just as a matter of fact i don't think the premiums are going to go away so regardless of where spot price is i mean you're going to find out what you can buy silver for and that's your essentially you call a couple places you look online a few places and you'll get a good feeling of what you're going to pay for an ounce of silver that's where you make your determination do i want to pay that for an ounce of silver and spot price really is immaterial at that point because you've searched out now where you can buy silver what they're selling silver for and if you're comfortable with that price then go ahead and, and buy it if you're not you can wait but my guess is the premiums aren't going to go away, and if the premium or if the spot price starts jumping up, I think the premiums will maintain their premium spread, which means if silver goes up $2, everything you saw for, you know, with the premium it is now, it's going to go up $2. So I don't think the premiums are going to go away at any time soon. Right. So I, I, would, I, I wouldn't let the premiums scare you away is my point. If you look and see what you can buy silver at, the best price you can find it, determine if that's a good price for you and don't think about spot price at this point because it really 
you know, it, it hasn't moved too much over the last few months, and it really hasn't really had a bearing on the amount of silver that we've bought and sold. So uh, there are a few people that are still kind of stuck on stop, spot price where they don't feel comfortable spending the premium, uh, the extra amount, you know, they have to pay to get it included in the premium. But to me, I think silver's still a bargain. Right even with the premium associated to, compared to even where spot is right now. I so, feel exactly the same way. You know, in, in times past where silver has, the spot price has gone up considerably higher, you, you saw some of the premiums erode because people were still getting the amount of money they want for their silver. But with the premiums having been, having been in effect now for a year, year and a half at least, uh, what I consider high premiums, I don't see those evaporating even if silver goes up. What I see silver doing is the price you're going to pay for silver is going to go up if spot goes up too and the premiums are not going to uh, all of a sudden vanish I, I believe the premiums will or the spread what you call is going to maintain itself based on where the spot is that, yeah. that makes perfect yeah. sense all right Phil, well i appreciate your time my friend we talked about a lot today and uh we looked at my uh yeah my kilo your, here your which i'm gonna fine, say yeah. is unique because it's a little bit under <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what I'm going to say. And, uh, you know, one day uh, we'll see what, what happens. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. So there you have it. Very productive day. You guys saw our examination of this Kilo Eagle, which turned out to be very positive as far as I'm concerned. And also we talked a little bit about spot price and the premiums. And so I hope it was very informative for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. I have a surprise for you guys in my next video. And I think you're going to like that as well. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, keep stacking. Peace.